Hi, this is Jerry, Kilo Mike 4, Zulu Kilo Bravo. Today we're going to be going back over this ballon that we built in a previous video for the ZS6 BKW antenna. This is a one-to-one -one ballon that also serves the function as a choke. Well, we, we did test the insertion loss, but we did not test its ability to choke. So I want to go over that today with you to show that this is functioning also as a choke. We're going to be using the Nano VNA to test it with, and we'll go through the setup here and get through the test and show you that this does function both as a ballon and a choke. So hang with us. This is our choke ballon that we built. As you can see, it, it's a fairly tight fit, but it's worked. It's been outside, you know, since we put up the ZS6BKW. It's totally dry on the inside as I expected it to be, and everything's looking good. So all we have to do now is connect up the Nano VNA. Okay, we've got our test rig set up here now, where we've got all the alligator clips connected correct polarity end to end. This one this connector here is upside down from this one here. You can see the screws in this one here where the screws on this one are upside down. That, that way they're connected correctly in the correct polarity without having to twist them. And I've got the Nano VNA here and it, it is, as you can see, zero all the way across or, or virtually zero, it's, but it's 196 milli dB. <coughs> pretty much all the way across. It goes up a little bit. On the high end, it goes up to 267 milli dB of insertion loss. So that's just a little bit of the re reactance that we have here, negligible to say the least. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna connect the one-to-one -one ballon choke. To verify whether or not the choke is working properly, we have to measure it on the shield. So we'll be connecting shield here on, from this screw right here to this screw here, which is the shield on this side. So let's, let's get that connected. And we'll want to connect the red alligator clips to those because those are the center conductors. And that's where the signal is being transmitted on the center conductor. So I'm just gonna connect it out here it should be the same as right here. Virtually no difference. Okay, now I'm gonna take the charger off of it. I had the charger charging up the Nano VNA. Now you can see the insertion loss for the choke because we're choking on the shield, which is where your common mode current normally would flow. So that's what we're measuring right now. It this does not have to be connected. We're measuring the shield using what's being transmitted out of, out of port one through to the shield on this side, coming out of the shield on this side, back into port two, okay? And to, to measure this, I don't know if I mentioned earlier, okay, right here you can see we're set up into S21 log mag. Now, what does that mean? In log mag mode, what the nano VNA does is it transmits a signal based on what frequencies you have selected, the frequency range you have selected. It transmits that signal through port one. And what the S21 means, it's, it's measuring the signal coming back in on port two. So it knows the, the frequency and the level of the signal being transmitted on port one, and it compares what it's receiving here on port two to that signal, and you get the graph here, okay? So let's go down to one megahertz, okay? We're on the low end here, one megahertz, and we've got negative 28 dB that's, that's how much it's reducing the signal, okay? And 
that's how you'd measure whether or not a choke is working because it's choking the signal. Well, what does that mean? Well, we know that for every 3 dB of change, if it's positive 3 dB, that means the signal strength is doubled. If it's negative 3 dB, it means the signal strength is half of what it was. So we are halved here. 3 to 28 is 9 times. So whatever signal, it's, it, it gets real small real quick, but you're having the signal 9 different times here at 1 megahertz. And let's get back down here to around 1.8, 1 1.9. There's 1.870. So that's 160 meters. Okay. 160 meters, we've got a negative 32. Let's go up to 80 meters, 3.8 to 4. And let's look right there at 3.9. There we've got, it's bouncing around right at a negative 35. That's, that's good. Let's go on up to 40 meters and we'll go right there to 7235, 7.235 megahertz. And again, we've got a negative 35. Good. So it's working. Go on up 20 meters and we'll just measure it right there. 14.267. Got a negative 32. So again, that's having whatever is coming back 10 times approximately, between nine and 10 times. So it's, it's doing its job. It's going up to 17 meters. And there's 17 meters, 18, 110. And we're at 30. I have trouble with those zeros. They look a lot like eights and I gotta be sure. 30.4. Okay, I should have known because it's so close to the 30 line there. These are in increments of 10 where the zero line is right up here where this little yellow diamond is, is on the zero line. So that's negative 10, negative 20, negative 30. So if we go on to 15 meters, we'll right there at 20, 21.3, we've got a negative 28 dB. And we'll go up here to 12, at 12 meter band, 24, 925, we got a negative 26. And at the 10 meter band, and on 10 meters there, 28, 4, 0, 5, we got a negative 25 dB. With a choke, because we're, remember we're measuring on the shield, in a choke, that's what you want. This, this is functioning as a common mode choke. So that is how this performs as a choke. Well, how does it perform as a one-to-one -one ballon? How much, what is the insertion loss there? Well, it's easily measured. We just change our configuration. Okay, we've got everything connected now. Our center conductor. Let me turn that just a little bit so they don't overlap each other. I like them a little straighter. Our center conductor from port two is going to the center conductor here. And our shield from port two is going to the shield here. And we're connected via the SO239, SO PL259 connection here. And as you can see, there's virtually no insertion loss. Way up here, we got a negative approximately 220 milli dBs. So that's... 0.2 of a, of a dB, 0.2 of a dB, very small. So it, it's virtually flat. It's a little less over here on the low end of the band. So if we get over here at uh, right there, we're in the 160 meter band. We got negative 0 0.05 dB. So very minimal insertion loss. So this choke ballon does work and it, it works very well. If you want to see how to build this, I'll put the link right up here so you can go and watch that video. Very effective little choke ballon. This, is, this only has a single toroid. So we're talking 200, 
maybe 300 watts maximum. I don't run power, so I only use one toroid to make this ballon. If you want to run power, you're going to need multiple toroids stacked together, and you may want to increase the size of your coax. And if you increase the size of the coax, you're going to have to use a larger box than this one. This one's about maxed out with what you can get in there, but uh, the other boxes that I used in my other Ballon builds would definitely hold that, but for 100 watts, which is what I run, this, this is more than sufficient. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to support the channel, there's a link for to buy me a coffee that's in the, down in the description. I'll also make sure that it comes across up here. So you, uh, if you're on TV, you can scan that QR code and it'll take you straight to my buy me a coffee link. And I appreciate anything you can do to help support the channel. This is Jerry, Keto Mike 4, Zulu Keto Bravo. Hope you have a blessed day.